It was a September 9th, the 27th to be exact, when Alabama supporters from far and near were holding their breaths as the new Crimson Tide took the field in Ladd Stadium under the direction of new head coach Paul W. Bryant. Bryant, affectionately known as Bear by students, alumni, and fans, was once a member of the Crimson Tide that won a national championship in 1934. This September 9th would see Alabama start off the Bryant era versus the LSU Tigers. Alabama was in complete control of the game in the early stages and grabbed a 3-0 halftime lead. However, the second half, the Tigers would take control and end up winning the game 13-3. LSU would go on to win the national championship in 1958. The next game saw the Tide face the mighty Commodores of Vanderbilt at Legion Field in Birmingham in front of a crowd of 40,000. This hard-fought battle ended with the Tide and the Commodores all tied 0-0 as neither team could put points on the board. Purple Hurricanes from Furman were next and the Crimson Tide was ready. Denny Stadium under the lights was packed and saw the Tide come away with its first victory of the season. The Good Guys 29 and the Bad Guys 6, with a third Saturday in October on the horizon. October 18, 1958 saw the Crimson Tide and the Volunteers battle in Knoxville, Tennessee. The Tide would strike fear into the hearts of the Vols with a hard-fought game. However, this day was one the Crimson Tide would have liked to have back as costly mistakes plagued the team all day. The final score would read Vols 14, Tide 7. Starkville, Mississippi is where you would find Bama spoiling homecoming for the Mississippi State Bulldogs. It was surely Bama's first impressive victory of the year as the Tide came away with 9-7 win in front of a large Tide following. Homecoming at the Capstone was next and saw Alabama put on an impressive show versus the Bulldogs of Georgia. An absolute beautiful day at Denny Field saw the Tide dominate the Bulldogs early on in the game and continue throughout the day. A large homecoming crowd saw the Tide wrap up all the homecoming festivities with a big win over Georgia 12-0. A night the Bama Nation would rather forget saw the Tide fall on the road to the two-lane Green Wave by a score of 13-7. Tulane got out to an early start and never looked back. But the season must go on as the Tide now prepares for the rambling wreck of Georgia Tech. Legion Field in Birmingham saw the Tide put the last loss behind them and come out and put together a fantastic game beating the Yellow Jackets of Georgia Tech by a score of 17-8. to Bama looked great as the Red Elephants were destined for victory, a victory that would be the Tide's fourth of this 1958 campaign. The Crimson Tide was now riding high, heading into a showdown with Memphis State. Tuscaloosa would see its final game of the season as the Crimson Tide took on Memphis State. Bryant and the Tide would defeat State by a score of 14-0 in a game where everyone's mind was on the next week and the showdown with the Auburn Tigers. The last game of the season saw the Tide take on its cross-state rival Auburn. While the Tide fought valiantly, it wasn't quite enough to take the victory and the Tide would leave Legion Field in defeat by a score of 14 to 8. Nineteen fifty-eight would see Coach Bryant's first Alabama team in the season with a record of five wins, four losses, and one tie. The tie didn't get everything accomplished that it had set out to do for 1958, but from the standpoint of the past, it was a very successful season. 
a year that would lay the foundation for Coach Bryant and the tie to win six national titles and 14 SEC titles in the seasons to come. For the Paul W. Bryant Museum, I'm Katie Winslet, Roll Tide.